Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Shawn Mendes' signature. This perfume launched this year, 2017, and is Shawn Mendes' debut first fragrance. So, the box looks like this, and it says, uh, Shawn Mendes' signature for women and men, um, pour femme, eat, pour home, which I literally believe that's for men and for women in French. Um, and then down here it says Eau de Parfum, maybe, maybe we can focus. Um, Eau de Parfum Spray 3.4 ounce vaporizer, 100 milliliter. The box does have this kind of metallic-y texture to it. Like that's not just because my camera light's bright, it's because it's super metallic-y. Um, and it has a picture of Sean's guitar right there in the middle. Um, that's a tattoo that he has. On the back you've got a picture of Sean. On the sides you've got that same kind of like watercolor stripey i'm not sure exactly how to describe that design but it's almost like streaky and marbly same design on top and barcode and stuff on the bottom the bottle looks like this and is a vintage inspired design um this top part is a guitar pick which there we go and then um this is a guitar string um, and it, it has sean's name embossed on the bottom and then the cool thing is the bottle is actually kind of like oval shaped like it indents on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, that's something I find really, really cool about this fragrance. And I like that the bottle is masculine, but also feminine. And in the same respect that that's kind of what the fragrance is. It's very uh, masculine and feminine fragrance all at the same time. And I really do actually like this fragrance. Um, I will say that it's not my favorite. I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest with you guys, upfront and honest. It's not my favorite, but for it being a unisex fragrance, I do like it a lot. Um, so top notes are lemon oil, pineapple, and Macintosh apple. I'm throwing things. Um, mid notes are fragapani, uh, sugared maple accord, and rose petals with a base notes of dolce de leche, white cedar, and skin musk. Let me grab a thing. Anyway, so when you first spray this, you get that lemon a little bit, along with a little bit of pineapple, but you're really getting a lot of kind of the base from this fragrance. But it does open with kind of a light citrusy from that lemon and pineapple. And the Macintosh apple is there, but it's really kind of a reference to a Macintosh apple because um, I've smelled this fragrance or yesterday and today. And every now and again, I would smell myself and, or catch a whiff of the fragrance and catch the apple. But when you're smelling it, like, up front, you're not going to smell the apple. It's kind of hidden in the background, and you smell it every now and again. It really kind of comes out for, like, two seconds and hides away and then comes back again. Which you really like, because you don't really see fragrances very often that have kind of a hidden note that only comes out every now and again. And I really like it. And the fact of, like... The pineapple adds a juicy tartness to the top of the fragrance that the lemon also adds, but they blend together to kind of create this just really nice fruity citrusy opening that the apple kind of balances out without it being too citrusy. Um, as it starts to dry down, I can get the sugared maple accord. You can definitely smell um, his Canadian roots with that maple accord put in there. I will say it doesn't make the fragrance super sweet. Um, I was kind of expecting when I read about this fragrance and saw the notes and all that stuff, I was kind of expecting it to be an apple-y with a you know, maple heart and a dolce de leche vanilla base. And that's not really what you're getting with this one. Um, the heart, you can smell the sugared maple accord, but the rose petal and the fragapani both add kind of a floral heart to the fragrance where it doesn't make it super, super sweet, which I think is good because it does help make this fragrance unisex in the aspect that it's not too sweet, but it's also not too manly. Like the sweet notes lighten it up while the floral notes make it masculine enough. Um, as it starts to dry down, you do get that skin musk. You do get the Dolce de Leche from the base. Um, and you get a little bit of the cedar wood, like it adds a little edgy woodiness to the fragrance as well. I would say this fragrance is unisex. Um, it does lean more toward the feminine side of unisex, and I would describe it more 
boy than man. And I mean that in a good way. I mean this is a fragrance that like for it being unisex I personally would wear it. Um, and the notes work both ways on me. I do, um, I've said this in the past where um, I feel like masculine notes that are used a lot more in masculine fragrances don't work as well as on me. While when they're blended with female notes they do blend with me. Female, male, whatever. Um, but this one I like because it is blended in the right way where Sean's fan base is mostly feminine. So he won the fragrance that his feminine fans could wear but also him himself could wear and his male fans could wear. Um, and I feel like this fragrance does a very good job of that. I feel like it's useful without it being too useful um, and you're not getting like a candy sweet bomb. It's a nice light citrusy refreshing fragrance with that nice tinge of sweetness to it that I feel like you don't really see a lot in male fragrances and it works super well in here. And I feel like male fragrances that are this light, sweet, airiness that this is could take off. I know a lot of times masculine fragrances are a little heavier and when they are sweeter they're uh, built up with so much masculine notes like pepper and bergamot. Um, which bergamot's used in both male and female fragrances, but I feel like when it's mixed with some of the male notes, it becomes more masculine in male fragrances and more feminine in females, which is super cool. Um, but this one does give the masculine feminine vibes at the same time. Um, lasting power, I got about six to eight hours on it. I will say about six hours it did become a skin scent, um, but shortly after eight hours, um, I couldn't really smell it much more. But it was very, very close to skin after six hours. Um, it's not a super strong fragrance, but at the same time, it does give a good projection to it. Um, I would say this is a, definitely a daytime fragrance. And it is actually pretty good for all year round. I feel like this fragrance has notes in it that work in the summer. Like the lemon and the pineapple would work really well in the summer and come out more in the summer while it's warm. While the mix of the Macintosh Apple, Dolce de Leche, and Sugar Maple Accord would work for the fall and then you know the Dolce de Leche mixed with the Fraga painting and the florals gives it a good heart while just the simple florals give it um a good top for spring. I missed the fact that I meant to say the florals and the Dolce de Leche give it a good winter fragrance not a good heart. Anyway um it's a really really good fragrance I like it I know currently it is available everywhere you can get it at Macy's you can get it at Bonton stores you can get it at HSN um, I know if you purchase it through um, Macy's, you can get a free t-shirt that has Sean's guitar on it. It says Sean's signature. It's a light blue tee. Um, I believe if you order it from Ulta, you can get this really cool black bag. So there's a lot of cool, fun things with this fragrance. And I love the way he launched it because um, an ad leaked a couple months ago and we first heard about it and then nothing. And then Sean announced it and it blew up. And I love that he announced it the way he did. And I can definitely tell with this fragrance with the packaging and the scents and everything that Sean is involved in this fragrance. It's not like some celebrities where they just slap their name on it and call it good. We're not going to name any names or point any fingers. But I definitely can tell that Sean worked on this fragrance and made it for himself as well as for his fans. This is a fragrance I would see Sean wearing. Um, it is the kind of that younger, youthful male scent while still being slightly feminine. And um, I feel like it perfectly suits who Sean is. So if you were to imagine what Sean would smell like, Sean's signature is definitely that. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, at that's perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the search perfume. Don't forget, August 17th, my website is launching. So that will, I'll put a link in the description below, um, which means starting August 17th, I'll have to change my outro. Um, but this will be the last review you guys get under this logo, this setup. I mean, we're still going to be set up this way, but I'm going to get a new logo and a new video intro as well as some other fun stuff. So be on the lookout for that. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.